Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to my power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world eagerly calls God, and Bahashem is in the name, and Yahweh Shai, that is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world eagerly called Jesus, and the Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. And also, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that Yahweh Bashem al Shai has set forth on this earth to lead and to guide and to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And also, I want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And also, I want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashem al Shai will have mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from coming coming back from the uh, Great Millstone Salt, GMS West Palm, Great Millstone Salt, here, GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right, and today's lesson, I don't really have a title, but I was going to just flow through the spirit, you know, just pull out some precepts that I've been meditating on. Okay, and I'm going to start at Baruch chapter 3 and verse 5, and it reads, Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. Okay, so it says, remember not the iniquities of our forefathers. Okay, and we are our forefathers coming back in the reincarnation. Okay, in the Bible, um, there's countless of scriptures going into reincarnation. Okay, and this is not our first time being here on this earth. Okay, we've been here before. You see, and, and right now we're playing out our judgment. So let's read verse 6. For thou art the Lord our power, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. And that's what uh, the elect is doing, okay, praising Yahweh Shemal Shai in, in our captivity. It says, For we have called. To mind all the iniquities of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay, and still unto this day, we're, we're um, enslaved. Okay, and why did we go into slavery? We're going to get this real quick. You know, because, you know, majority of our people believe that we're free. Okay, they, they, they believe that. That that um, that we have free will. It's Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifteen, but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Hearken goes back into listen. It says to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And this is why our people. Okay, be, uh, the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. That's why we're cursed. Okay, and you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You read from 16 all the way to 68. Those are curses that Yahweh Bashan Al Shai will put upon our people, and that's how we know that we are the Israelites because we're the only nation who fits uh, the, the prophecies, who fits the curses. Okay, and some of those curses. Are we gonna have an evil eye towards one another? And, and we're the only nation who fits that uh prophecy. Okay, you got a uh, so called black on black crime, you got so called black uh Hispanic, you know, you got these uh Latin kings and vice lords, and you know, all these different gangs, you know, um, uh, fighting one another, and that's due to the curses. For us not um, obeying the law of such commandments, how about Shmuel Shai? Another curse is that 
we'll be in the hoods, we'll be in the ghettos. And it don't matter where you go in the entire world. Because the Israelites, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So you can, you can go to Florida and who's predominantly in the hoods and the ghettos? Our people, so-called blacks, Hispanic and Native American men and women. You go to California, it's our people that's in the hood and the ghettos. You go to Las Vegas, it's our people in the hood and the ghettos. You go to Chicago, it's our people in the hood and the ghettos. You see? And I'm going to read this one. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. That word Egypt going back to a house of bondage. And it tells you in the book of Revelation that this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. So this is our place of bondage. It says again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right, and that's speaking about our homeland, okay, Jerusalem. And we haven't been there as a nation since slavery. And it says in there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you so ain't nobody going to be able to get us out of this situation not barack obama not uh donald trump not joe biden not martin luther king not malcolm x see n none of these none of these men no the only man who can redeem us is yahweh by shemel shai and that's who we got to turn to we got to turn back unto Yahweh Bashem al Shai because we disobeyed his law, such commandments. The scripture says that we he hid, he hid his face from us until we acknowledge our offense. And the only ones who's going to acknowledge their offense and come back unto Yahweh Bashem al Shai and seek the Lord in these last days is the elect. All right, the rest of our people, they're going to be left here to be destroyed. Tells you that in the book of Zechariah 13 and 8. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. See, and this is why we can't feel bad when, when, when these judgments come upon our people. Because they had a chance to repent. The prophets was out there warning you. Week in and week out. Year in and year out. Decades. Let's go back to Baruch 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. Right, and we, we subject to payments out here. And let's get a quick precept. You see, and this is what, you know, gives us comfort, you know, knowing why we are in these situations. Cause you got our people, you know, beating themselves up. But why I can't do this? Why I can't do that? Why? 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 Why I'm in the hood? Why I'm in the ghettos? You see, and this truth gives us comfort, knowing why why we are in these situations. Why are people in the hoods and the ghettos? Why are people are in prisons? See, and it, all this goes back. Unto the curses is Haggai 1 and 6. You have so much and bring in little. Right? And you got our people, you know, working their ass off day in and day out, week in and week out. Okay, you got Jake working 40, 50, even 60 hours. But we but we still bringing in little. See? It says, ye, ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. And that's how our money is. You know, you work all these these uh, hours at your job. You might be getting paid, you know, fairly decent. But, you know, once you get your paycheck, you, you, you pay these bills that we've been subject to, going back to Baruch the third, three and eight. You pay your light bill, you pay your water bill, you pay your car insurance, you pay your rent or your mortgage. 
you uh you pay your phone bill the things like that and next thing you know you don't got you barely got enough money to, to eat you, you you making it you, you barely have enough to put gas in your car to make it to and fro to work you see and this is this is this is done you know by you how about smell shy see and this is why you got to return back unto the Lord okay this is why we got to acknowledge our offense okay and you know you got Jake when I say Jake I'm talking about um, the tribes all right so-called black Hispanic and Native Americans this is why our people you know sell out to try to escape the curses but you can't run from the curses finish off at Baruch 3 and 8 behold we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our father which departed from the Lord Yahweh Basham Shire power it says verse 9 here Israel the commandments of life Give ear to understand wisdom. You see, and this is this is how we receive life. All right, because John six sixty three says, "The spirit that quickeneth, this flesh profits nothing." The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And this is how this is how we truly live. You know, and that's what we fighting for for immortality because we haven't truly lived. As a, as a nation yet Okay we just existing like the Like the Apostle Gabar always going to Okay we haven't lived We're just existing Okay you live when you have slaves Okay you have resources Okay you have um, Land and and uh, Gold and silver Okay and that's, that's Those are the true riches Okay but it, it begins with this wisdom Okay hearkening to this wisdom Applying this truth this is Baruch 4 and 1 this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endureth forever and when you go into these Christian churches okay they say that the law has been done away with and guess who who uh, who gave you those who gave you that religion Esau Edom, the so-called white man. In Psalms 83rd chapter. Okay, you got these nations coming together, you know, figuring out ways to destroy you. So they gave you plantation Christianity. Okay, why? Because Esau knows that we are the most high chosen people. And he as long as he can give us get get us to transgress the laws and commandments. He can stay in power. And let me get Romans real quick. Because sin is sin is our kryptonite. Romans 6 and 23. Bear with me real quick. Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. See, and this is why uh, sin is being pushed. Or you can you can do as thou wilt. You you can you can be a, a adulterer you can get high okay you can have sex with other men's wives you can shave your beard you can eat pork crab shrimp lobster as long as you pray over your food and you confess out of your mouth that the lord is your savior you can be you can be saved this is why they this is why they they, they tell you that in these christian churches because they want they want to see our people in the lowest state they want to see our people uh, bugged out. They want to see our people with high blood pressure, diabetes. Because as long as you keep transgressing the law, statute, commandments, death is going to follow you. Sickness is going to follow you. And it says, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. And you got to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. You got to. You gotta worship the Lord as the, as the, as the scriptures have said. 
The only way we going we going to make it out through here is through Yahweh Shai. Okay? The scripture says it's better to obey than it is to sacrifice. So we have to be obedient unto Yahweh Bashmal Shai. Be the best that we can be while we in this wicked world. All right, Romans 12 and 1. Make your body a living sacrifice. So we got to sacrifice in this in this uh, thing of ours. It's not about what you want. It's not about pleasing your flesh. It's, all, it's, it's actually the complete opposite. Scriptures talk about mortify the deeds of the flesh. Let me see if I can get that. Uh, and this is uh bear with me. It's Romans eight and verse thirteen. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Right, and we gotta learn how to deny this flesh. Cause the spirit is contrary. The the spirit is is contrary. The, the spirit and the flesh is contrary one to another. And that's that battle. Okay, that flesh wants to be lazy. It wants to eat all day. It wants to be glutton. Flesh wants to wants to light up that blunt. Flesh wants to light up that cigarette. Your flesh wants to have sex with that with that woman over there, and you knowing that she got a man. It says, "For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify." Mortify goes back into kill, right? So we got to kill off this, this, that, that old man. We constantly got to put that man to death. It says, mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live, right? And you, and you only can, you only can win that battle with the with, with the uh, flesh through your how about smell shy. You can't do this on your own. Let's go back to Baruch. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay, and this made me think of a precept. Here in the book of Deuteronomy. Um, bear with me real quick. Alright, it's Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 18. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land, whether thou pass over Jordan to go to possess it. I call heaven and earth to accord this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Okay, and, and that's what the Lord is presenting us with. Either you're going to choose life, you're going to choose Yahweh Shemel Shai, you're going to choose to walk in his law, such commandments, in his ways, or you're going to choose death. All right, the scripture says, all, the, all those that hate me love death. And when you walk out outside the ways of the law, such commandments, that's death. There is only one way. And you got to walk that straight and narrow because there's fire and water. Okay, and those fire and water, those are two 
um, are the most deadliest uh, things. And the Lord destroyed the earth by way of water in the times of Noah. And the Lord is about to destroy the earth by way of fire. See, and everybody is being presented uh, with this opportunity. So when the Lord brings death and destruction, we're not going to feel bad. Because everybody is going to have a chance to repent. Everybody's going to have a chance to seek your how about Shema Shai. But you got to do it early. It says, seek, seek, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Seek the Lord before the evil days come. But when the evil days come, a lot of people they gon then they gon then they want then they gonna want to get right. Then they gonna want to uh, seek your high Shai. Okay, look for his prophets running to and fro. It's gonna be too late. And read verse twenty, that thou mayest love the Lord thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life. And the length of thy days. See, everybody wants to live. Nobody wants to die. But how do you how do you um, prolong your days? By being obedient, ob obeying the voice of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and the Lord speaks through His servants, the prophets. It says that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. To Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. Okay, and a majority of our people, 66.6 .6 of our people, they're going to be cut off. They're going to die. Scripture said they shall receive death by pain. So they're not going to, they're not going to enter into the kingdom on the first go around. They're going to have to, they're going to have to be, be destroyed. They're going to have to be burnt with that fire. Because right now it's that time to go through that spiritual fire. Okay, and fire is a cleansing agent. Okay, and right now we're being refined through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay, by way of tribulation, going through adversity. But, th but these people, they 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 not walking that straight game. So they're gonna have to be refined by Yahweh by Shemel Shai with that physical fire. All right? And um, I'm going to finish up with Baruch. Because we got to get why. Why why did we go into this uh, um, slavery? Why did we get put into captivity after captivity after captivity? See, and this is what they don't tell you in the, in the churches. Okay, they don't tell you this in your school system. They just say we came over here um, in ships. But they never tell you why. This is Baruch 4 and verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. See, and, and the Lord loves us. And that's why he chastised us, because he loves us. You have a, a father and a mother. They chastise their sons and daughters because they love them. Okay, and that's, that's that form of correction. The Lord is correcting us. So when we when we in the kingdom, we're gonna know what it's like to be to to be uh, punished. Okay, we're gonna be we we're gonna be grateful. We're gonna be grateful for for the new bodies. We're gonna be grateful for slaves. All right. It says, but because you moved the most out of wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. For he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. Okay, and that's what our people are still doing unto this day, sacrificing unto devils. Hey, because if you ain't calling on the name of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, you're, you're worshiping a, 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 a demon. Okay, devil going back into deceiver. You got our people bowing down to, to, to Jesus. You calling on the so-called white man, which is the devil. Okay, got our people bowing down to Buddha, Allah, Pharaoh, all these different gods, which, which are devils. And this is why we got put in this situation. 
are people still doing this unto this day? It says, ye, uh, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. It says, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up. All right, man, you, you read about uh, the stories uh, of the Israelites, man. You know, Yahweh Bashem al was the one who, who delivered us from the hands of the Egyptians. Okay, a Pharaoh who, 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 who uh, protected us in the time of war, who gave us the victory over our enemies in the time of war. So that was pretty much it on this lesson. All right, it was just, just flowing through the spirit. You know, pray that the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to my power. Yahweh, Bahashram, Yahweh Shai, Bahashram, Chakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work. For the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And also I want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will have mercy upon in these last days. And the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahushai for giving me the Holy Spirit. The Rakak will die to make this lesson. Lord willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baal Baal. DTA.